Our next guest is a leading provider of all kinds of heart rate and fitness assessment technology, and it's always a pleasure to help promote those kinds of things. We all can use more help regardless of what we may or may not be using now in terms of our fitness and our just general health. Well, the Polar Heart Rate Monitors product specialist with Polar, as in P-O-L-A-R, like Polar Bear, how clever is Mike Hurley. Mike, welcome into tomorrow. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, Dave. Thank you. And uh, you're, of course, uh, talking about some existing products that have been around already for some time mm -hmm. and helping a lot of people, and, and yet also introducing a new product here at CES. That is correct. Uh, for, for customers of ours who maybe have been familiar with us as a brand and the products we've had in the marketplace in the past, uh, we're introducing a new product called the A300. And it's really a hybrid product, for lack of a better description. What it does is it incorporates the classic heart rate features that people have been using in our products in the past, along with the activity information that people are, are seeing in their new fitness trackers. Uh -huh. And having the benefit of both, if you will, uh, while exercising and gathering the heart rate, and then, of course, seeing how their day progresses throughout the rest. You know, so, for, so we'll be able to see your steps, the calories. If you're wearing it at night, for example, you'll be able to see how your sleep is progressing. So it's kind of a full uh, day uh, progression, and it's not just uh, just to exercise any session anymore. It's really the full day perspective. And that's cool because I guess early on, a lot of the fitness wearable products were just about steps and about if you're running or you're doing some actual physical exertion of some sort. But when you can incorporate these additional features, it really gives people a total big picture of their health. Because rest is, is part of health. You're exactly right. You know, sometimes it can be too easy to overdo things. Yeah. And vice I, versa, it can be too easy to underdo things. And I, over, I overdo things all the time. <laughs> well, and it's, that's really the beauty of a product like this. I mean, you're seeing the, the total perspective. Not only what you're doing during an exercise, but also how your day progresses throughout. Hmm, very good. And you even mentioned sleep patterns. Uh, you're able to, of course, I don't know that you're going to want to wake up throughout the night and watch, but I'm sure it stores information there for you. You're exactly right. But you're that's important to know, are, is, are, are there things interrupting your sleep patterns that you can adjust and therefore, again, concentrate on your health? You're exactly right. If you were to wear this product during the evening and then synchronize it with the mobile application that it's compatible with in the morning, you're able to see how, first off, how much time you've slept during the evening, but more importantly, how much of that was considered or considered restful or restless sleep. Hmm. And for people who may be maybe tired waking up in the morning, for example, getting that sense of perspective, you know, if they're tossing and turning a lot during the night, they'll know that, all right, maybe there's something that's ongoing that needs to be addressed, and having a product like this will help them address that. Now, how does the watch know when we're sleeping? Well, there's a couple of ways. Uh, first of which is, uh, well, there's nothing, there's no button pushing, there's, there's no nothing to press on the button. Yeah, I'm not will. having to push a button that says, okay, I'm sleeping now. Right, exactly. Because <laughs> that doesn't, that would never work. You're right. Well, yeah. what happens is uh, the body, it utilizes what's called an accelerometer. And as your body starts to quiet, if you will, during the evening, as you, as you lay down, the watch recognizes, all right, it's at that time of night and with the lack of movement that the person is doing, that uh, this person is asleep and then starts to record it accordingly. No, so this is the A300 that we're showing now. Yep. Again, intotomorrow.com if you're listening on the radio. Anytime at your leisure, come see the videos of all the products that we're talking about here at CES. Uh, and uh, very stylish, too. I'm assuming av available in multiple colors. You're exactly right. You just happen to be showing a nice white one. You're exactly right. And the nice thing about it is if you decide on getting the white initially, you have the flexibility of purchasing the bands as a separate accessory and popping out the module and putting in a different color. So it's, uh, uh, it's nice fitness option there. Plus, you're thinking polar. Uh, you know, it should be a white polar bear kind, exactly. of, kind of thing. It, it would remind me easily. Uh, and you say easy to operate. I'm seeing five buttons, two on one side, three on the other. So there's a lot of different things that this will do for us, right? Very easy to navigate through. Uh, simply scrolling through the different menu options like so. And here, for example, is the activity feature. If I were to press and access the menu selection, uh -huh. I can see the activity time. It would record it, number of calories burned. Here's the steps taken and an estimation of the distance yeah, traveled. See, see you're, you've been walking the show floor already. <laughs> you're exactly right. And here's the best part. Now it's going to give you recommendations as to what you can do in order to meet your activity goal for the day. And ah. it's really it's a wonderful uh, device to keep uh, track of how your day progresses. Wow, very cool. And this is available yet? Well, it was just ironically introduced on Saturday, but we're anticipating to be available in store on, in February. Okay, terrific. So next month you can look for the Polar A300. You got it. And, of course, other products that you have available, too. You can visit polar.com for more information. We'll get you there, too, one click away when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Mike, a delight to chat with you. Thanks for uh, sharing some of the new goodies with us, and we'll let you get back to your busy exhibit here on the show. 
for. Thank you, Dave. Our pleasure. Back with more as Into Tomorrow continues for our 20th year at CES in Las Vegas. I'm Dave Graveline, and this is the Advanced Media Network.